Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In this tutorial we are discussing about a program that is we want to find out the sum of all digits in the entered input. So for our program input will be an integer number okay like 1, 2, 3, 4 or something and we want output as the sum of these digits like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 so we want the output as 10 so in this tutorial we are writing the program for this so while writing the program we need to follow the four steps okay so that is so first step is we need to take the input okay so for example here 1 2 3 this is the input and this second step is we need to find out the digits okay so we need digits we need to get the digits from this number like 1 2 and 3 we need separately because we need to add that right and next step is we need to find out the sum of digits and the last step is we want to print the result or sum okay we want to print the result these are the four steps we need to follow while writing the program so the first step is we need to take the input so here we will take the input from the user so for that I will use input function okay so usually I will write this line in every program that is we need a variable I will call it as num I'll use input function enter a positive integer number okay here we are talking about the positive integer numbers and here we need integer input but by default in python 3 input function will take input as the string so I need to convert that so int okay so first step is done that is taking the input so now what is the second step so the second step is we need to get the digits from this input and we need to find out the sum of that digits okay so for that what I'll do is I'll take a variable called result okay and initially I will take this value as 0 this result will hold the final output but initially now it will be 0 okay so next here to find out the digits I'll use the mathematical operations like I'll use reminder I'll use truncated divisions okay so so example if my input okay so num value is 1 2 3 and we took a variable called result that is assigned to 0 okay so now to separate the digits what I'll do is first I'll use the modulus operation okay so so I will apply this modulus operation on num num modulus 10 why 10 because when I will do modulus 10 output can be either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or, or 7 or 8 or 9 ok so in that case we will get the digits so here num modulus 10 means what 123 modulus 10 okay so this modulus operator will give the reminder so reminder is 3 so we'll get the first digit of the number that is 3 okay so next using modulus operation I got a digit now I need to add that okay so for that what I'll do is I'll write like this result is equal to result plus this digit that is 3 why result because initially we took a variable called result and we assigned the value 0 so as I said result will hold the final output initially it will be 0 so 0 plus 3 so it will 3 we applied modulus operation on the number and we got a digit and we added to the result okay so now next step is in this 123 we got 3 now we want 2 so for that first I need to remove this 3 from this 123 number okay so for that what I'll do is I will 
to the truncate division of this 123 so i'll do this okay so this truncated division is also called as integer division it will give only integer part so if i do 123 10 it will give result 12 as we wanted 3 is removed from the number 123 now okay so step is simple first i'll do num modulus 10 okay it will give me the digit 3 okay after that i'll add that to result okay after that i want to remove this 3 from the number so for that i'll do the truncated division okay these are the three steps to get the digit and to add the digit to the result okay so here this will be the first step okay after doing the truncated division we will get num value as 12 and the result value as 3 because we added 3 right so result is 3 and the num value is 12 now i want to get the digit 2 so for that i will do the same thing that is 12 modulus 10 or we can say num modulus 10 okay because num value is 12 now after this truncated division so it will give 2 okay so i want to add result plus 2 initially result was 3 that is the this digit so it will do 3 plus 2 it will give 5 okay next again i will do the same thing because i added 2 and 3 i am done with the 2 so i want to remove that now so i will do num truncated division 10 that is 12 truncated division 10 it will give output as 1 okay so this is the second step after this num value will be 1 okay here we got that result value will be this 5 okay that is 2 plus 3 this is the second step next i want to add 1 right now 2 plus 3 are added now i want to add 1 to that so for that again i have to repeat this step that is first i need to do the same num modulus 10 that is 1 modulus 10 so it will give output as 1 so here i'll add that to result so result plus 1 that is result value is 5 so 5 plus 1 6 next again i'll do this thing that is 1 truncated division 10 so i'll get output as 0 when I get 0, I need to stop. Okay. When I get 0, that means all the digits are added. So, now stop the process. So, in this way, we can get the digits and we can add the digits. Okay. So, we need to do three steps. That is, I need to find out the modulus 10 and I need to add that to result. Next, I need to do the truncated division. Here we can see we are repeating the step. That is, in the first step we need to do modulus 10 add the result and truncated division in the second step also we are doing the same thing in the third step also we are doing the same thing that is we are executing the same code for the different value so for that while writing the program we will use loops okay so either you can use for loop or you can go for the while loop in this condition i will go for the while loop because here we have the condition that is when the num value becomes zero i need to stop right so i have condition that's why i'm going for the while loop if you want you can write this using for loop also okay so here i'll take the while condition while here i'll write the condition when num is greater than zero when num becomes zero we need to stop when num is greater than 0 then execute the while body so first i'll take a variable called digit so and i'll do num modulus 10 okay so from this we'll get the digits next step is we need to add that to result so result plus digit okay so if i enter 123 here first i'll get 3 and that 3 will be stored in this digit variable next initially result will be 0 and digit so 0 plus 3 result will be 3 okay next what i need to do i need to truncate division 
why this because we already added 3 to the result next i don't want that so i'll remove that from the number that's why i'm using this okay so this code will run again and again till num value becomes 0 once it will become 0 it will come out of the loop and it will print the result if i take a message called sum is and here i'll take result okay so now done so so i'll do one two three four first sum is 10 right 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 one 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 six times one okay so we'll get six okay so in this way you can get the output so as i said we can write this program using for loop also so if you want to use that then instead of while loop here i'll take for i in range and here okay so i is just a variable in the for loop i need to tell how many times this for loop body need to be executed in the while loop we need to write the condition where we need to stop if condition fails it will come out of the loop but in the for loop i need to mention how many times i need to execute this loop here so for that what i'll do is i'll write like this okay why i'll explain you so first here str of num means i am converting the number to string and i'm find outing the length of that string okay that will be my range okay why because here i'm converting this number to string because i can't use length method on the integer okay i can use only on the string that's why i'm converting this number to string so that i'll get the length of the string suppose if you enter num as one two three so it will convert that one two three number to string one two three and it will find out the length that is 3 so range will become 0 to 3 so this for loop will execute thrice that is because here we can see this is the explanation for the number 1 2 3 and in 1 2 3 we can see 3 digits so when we have 3 digits we need 3 steps to get the output right here we did that so this for loop need to be executed thrice that is nothing but how many digits present in the entered number okay if i enter now 1 2 3 6 correct right 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 okay so in this way you can write this program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care